Howdy all y'all, it's time for cake. I know I've been out for a little while, well, more like half a year, but life's been busy, what can you say, what can you do? Um, I am deciding to have, this is a bit of appropriate thing, New Beginning. That is the name of this mod pack. It is currently under development, but it is not, strictly speaking, in beta or alpha. It's it's kind of released. Uh, I got mine on Curse. I'm not sure where else it's available. Now, uh, those of you who have not met me before may need to know I am not an expert. If you have tuned in in hopes of seeing how to instantly create the most incredible machine that is perfect and perfectly efficient with no mistakes, you ain't gonna get that here. What you're gonna get here is you're gonna get a, a lot of me fiddling around, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. And sometimes you can learn a lot from somebody else's mistake. So I catch fire and fall into lava so you don't have to. And boy, that music is loud. I will change it in just a moment. As you can see, this mod pack is by Drastic Demise. And while I would like to give you an unbiased review, I have to admit I am something of a fan. Uh, Demise has also brought us uh, Banished, Hubris, and Simply Magic. And to date, I have not been disappointed in a single mod pack that Drastic Demise has created. And uh, so, you know, you'll see what you'll see, but I like this guy. I'm a fan. It also contains Batania's Garden of Glass by Vasky. And uh, Vasky has done some amazing work, and I, I like Batania, so hey. However, having said all that, I have only messed with these things in 1.7, and this pack is 1.10. So I got some learning to do, and there are a whole lot of new mods in 1.10 and in this pack that I have no experience with. My understanding is that Drastic has provided a guidebook, so I guess here we go. Uh, let me just real quick settle some things. For example, let's turn that down. Dang. All right, let's go to about, mm, I like it, around 25. Um, sure, why not? I don't mind music as long as it's quiet. Now, hostile critters, I want to hear them. My own footsteps, not so much. Don't. What, why would I even have that? Okay, and we will be ready to roll in jo Who, me? Finicky? Yeah. Alright, so one other thing. Let me go ahead. I like my brightness around 50. And view bobbing off. Thank you. I get motion sick. Sorry, all y'all. So let's uh, do one more thing. GUI scale to medium, and we are done. And with that having been said, hey, let's roll. Now, uh, if y'all are new to me, I, I do not tend to read the uh, manuals or books out loud. Y'all have pause. I do not have pause. Somebody else who wants to see what's going on next, you know, they don't have to sit and wait for me to read. Um, whereas those of y'all who want all the little details, well, you know, you can hit pause. And Drastic's left us a little greeting here, so we've got a sign. And, you know, here's your sign. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of y'all are too young for that. Uh, yay, we got one apple, we got an Incuridion book, an Encyclopedia Aura, oh, that's neat, I've messed with Aura Cascade before in Banished, and Alexica Batania, and the Tinker's book, alright, well, that's nice. I am actually, come to think of it, I'm going to leave all this stuff up here. The first thing we got to do, if y'all have never seen Garden of Glass before, you probably notice it's a sky block. We need to start disassembling the world. Tear it all up. Tear it all down. You know, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to do this. Because this chest is kind of in an unfortunate position here. So I'm... Just be sure I'm not falling into water. No. Okay. So yeah. So I'm going to just grab the chest and everything in it. And I'm going to move that over to here. Because... I like uh, I like to have uh, 
a little bit of space on this side I need to go swimming we got these tree roots down here that are just out of whale of range and those tree roots are uh, kind of important for what's coming next so I'm gonna need to get down there avail myself of some of that and in order to have an easy peasy time coming back up I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of oh no I lost some soil alright well that happens so hey welcome to skyblock welcome to free falling through the atmosphere uh, let me get over to this border here and maybe I can make my way there we go alright man kind of a hassle see I don't want to uh, oh you know what I'm forgetting I know what I'm forgetting well alright fortunately I left myself this grassy spot up here in Garden of Glass, when we're starting out like this, you can shift and right click on the ground, and what do you get? You get a pebble. So let's get a couple more of those. Why do we want pebbles? Well, we want pebbles because pebbles give us cobblestone. That's why we want pebbles. So, you know, I could just sit here and do this for a while and bore you all to tears, or, um,. I can hang up a couple of minutes and I can whack the world and get pebbles out of it and be right back with y'all. So let's do that instead. Welcome back everybody. I just took about 11 minutes there and uh, had a, that's about all it took honestly to uh, fill this up and I just uh, took the Windows um, Windows Assistant and told it to automatically be hitting right click and then I just held the shift key down while I was reading a book so yeah that uh, that's a start right there let's do this and uh, maybe we can get a little more mileage out of our uh, button keys this way whoops there we go But yeah, this ought to give me a fair number of, a uh, fair amount of cobblestone, I suppose. And that's, you know, that's good, because, uh, gonna need it all. Gonna need it all sooner or later. I figure I've got at least, I don't know, nine stacks of cobble there, something like that. So far, I mean, this has been, I understand, it's been a little bit boring. It's a thing. This is, you know, I mean, this is welcome to Skyblocks, folks. Getting started, those first few steps, you spend a good long time on them. And these last eight, and we are done. Now, I'm going to dump most of this into the chest here. And I'm just going to take down what I really figure I need. And what we're going to be doing is building a little platform here. So there's a good start. And now we've got the space we need to expand a little bit. And I'm going to have to be somewhat careful about this as time goes on because if I stop paying attention to what's down here, well, you know what we're going to have down here. We're going to have every kind of mob there is. But for the moment, my primary focus is making sure that I retrieve every last little bit of material I can get from this wonderful little block that Vasky has dedicated to us. So um, this is a standard garden of glass kind of start by the by for those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, Vasky's wonderful skyblock setting. And I'm just gonna do that. 
Now, the really entertaining stuff happens later on when you expand and get another level going down below, maybe, and you find out you have squid spawning in your waterfall. Just what everybody needs. Now, the reason we wanted this stuff, living root here, is that living root, when it all comes down to it, um, you use it to make saplings. You use it to make lots of things, I think. Don't quite rightly remember, but yes, yeah, so we can make saplings. We can make floral fertilizer. Okay, so you can use it to make two things. Good enough. And of course, this being a sky block, I'm going to give my uh, right hand pinky finger cramps holding down that shift key, making sure I don't go over the edge. Oh, whoop, missed some over here now to get this one right here and this one right here okay now frankly this is more than we need you probably could tell this is more than I need I mean here I am I got whoops okay it's gonna be a pain we'll do this Okay. And of course, I don't have a pick yet, so I can't do much about mistakes. Oh, hi there, fella. We got some living root here, too. We got, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take this. And I'm going to take this. And uh, that, I don't want to take that. That's got grass on it. And that's got grass on it. Let me get down here. And that one is right under our water source block. I can tell by the drip, drip, drip. So that one is not coming down. But that one's coming down. We can take that one and that one. And of course what I'm doing here is I'm getting stuff I can plant in. Because that's kind of important when you live in a... when you live in the sky. All right. Now the grass is spread to cover everything down here, so I actually can go ahead and I can uh, remove these blocks here. Going to do that thing. And just for the moment, I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to go up here to our little chest. There we go. And let's put that down. Hmm. Oh, let's put you down right there for the time being. Now, it took about one Minecraft night and part of one Minecraft day before I got, uh, got settled with all that stuff. And let's see, was it four of these make? Yep, they make a sapling. So let's get this out here. And I'm going to put it right there. And I am going to, hmm, hmm, he says. Let's do this. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm undoing what I just did a second ago. All right. So. It is now entirely, well, you know, I'm going to take out all the dirt. And I'm just going to close that up for now so nothing goes wandering off the edge. Goes down, 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 and becomes useless. And I'm just going to start filling in a little bit of space here. So unless we get a super huge tree, we now have an area where everything is going to fall into spaces that we control. We're not going to lose any saplings over the side. And uh, let me see, I need two blocks there. All right, let's do that. So what I'm doing is getting some grass going, getting a little bit of growth on. 
and you know until this tree comes up well could do this I suppose I could do a little bit of this let's do some of that there we go so I'm just gonna get a little bit of a head start here some flowers because you know we're getting this Britannia beginning flowers is where it's at now, some of them are kind of near the edge but hey it's a sky block that's kind of what you expect ah, that one was real near the edge okay so uh, if I want to keep doing this I'm gonna have to get myself uh, some wood soon so I have space to make another chest but uh, I'm alright with that I am all right with that. Um, let's see, did we get any white flowers? No white flowers. Mind you, I'm not in a position to do much with the. Oh, there's a white flower. I'm not in a position to do much with the flowers because you need a you need a bucket or a water bottle, and I don't have any dirt. I don't have any dirt. Well, no, excuse me. I got dirt. I don't have any sand. And that is all of our space. Well, I'm going to take some of this out. Because cobble. I got plenty of cobble. Okay, so. I could keep fussing around with that. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, there it is. Right up here we got a magic flare from Batania, and I don't know why whale I can't tell that, but it's going to give us a little light. So I can be sure nothing's going to spawn on this little area right here till I'm good and ready. But I need to wait for this tree to happen, and this tree ain't happening. Hey, welcome to Skyblock. Here we go again. So, you know, I'm going to hang up for a couple minutes, and once we got some wood, once we got something going on, then I'll I'll ring you back in. So be right back with all y'all. And here we are again. And it seems I have lucked out and gotten myself a rather large tree here to start with. Uh, I'm gonna run a little more cobble out here. I actually spread things out, put down spaces for four trees. Um, trying to leave a little border of about, I don't know, three deep around, yeah, one, two, three, yeah, so I had room for stuff to fall without falling off, but I was not expecting to get one of these big suckers so quick, so that's good, that is definitely good, uh, I'm just a little, uh, caught me kind of unprepared so I'm going to work this edge a little excellent we just got our first sapling I'm sure there's going to be more something this big absolutely we're going to see a lot more but uh, yeah so in just a second here we're going to have some wood and there's a second sapling um, the only thing I'm worried about is by making this many saplings, I don't have too many living roots left, and I need to make bone meal with those. Oh, man, I'm glad that thing didn't break my uh, flare there. So I'm going to go ahead. First off, let's, let's get us some wood. And I've had a little chance to look around through the guidebook here. Actually, we've got a couple different guidebooks. But... Um, yeah, and there's, uh, first off, the Batania guidebook. I mean, Baski has always produced, in my opinion, one of the best darn uh, guides in in Minecraft, quite frankly. I mean, Batania is a, it is not a uh, simple mod. It is a rather extensive mod. Lots of things happen in it. And it is, uh, the guidebook for it is phenomenal. Do we have Tycon in it? We do. Okay, that's cool. Well, I can go ahead and make myself a decent hatchet of some kind then. But, yeah, so, um, materials and you, this looks like this has been, oh, right, I already looked at that. This has been updated a little bit, 
and one of the nice things straight out of the gate is that we've got what appears to be kind of a uh, uh, what do you call a uh, table of contents and each of these goes to whatever page and we have all this wonderful information here so right now all I've got is wood so all I'm gonna have available to use is wood so let's make us some sticks and for those of you familiar with this that's gonna get us four blank patterns and I really need a little more than that. I think I need eight to really get. Ah, uh, now see here I'm going and I'm assuming everything's going to work the way it did in the original. And that might bite me if I'm not careful. Anyhow, so let's put that up there. Get us a tool station and a stencil table and a park builder and get rid of that. Okay, so now with those at our disposal. That was interesting. Um, that's cool. The, but the only thing I don't like is it just seemed to auto open when I put things down. Okay, that's sweet. I don't have to come out of this when I'm doing things. Alright, so let's just put our stencils in there. First off, we're gonna want an axe. You know we need an axe. And I've already had to break some blocks I didn't want to. So I'm going to make a pick, and for a pick I'm going to need a binding pattern, and I think tool rod pattern, and let's see, we have a um, bit, that, did that take two? Material cost two, okay, well, huh, so things are a little bit more expensive now, that's, uh, well, but you know, I've got a ton of cobble. I ain't, ain't too worried. I ain't too worried. All right, we don't want to make that out of cobble. And that's going to take one whole wood. So I guess I'm going to have to make some more um, make some more sticks. And now we ought to be able to put it all together. Uh, is that the right thing? Yeah. Okay. So there's our pickaxe, and we got stone pick head, wood binding. And, oh, it's not letting me make sticks with, okay, all right, well, I guess it did need the tool rod pattern after all. And that takes two each also. Dang, all right, whatever. Uh, there we go. Okay, pickaxe. And let's go ahead and make a axe head. And, uh, are you kidding me? You kidding me? It wants binding for the axe head now. So, all right, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm kind of reminded of FTB Infinity in that regard because it's like, well, here, let's just make this, uh, let's make this more difficult arbitrarily. Why don't we just double up the use of your resources? How about that? So I'm going to leave this chest right here, and I'm going to put that stuff in it. And I'm going to put them spare saplings and the dirt in it and the living root for now. And honestly, the pickaxe too. Okay, so let's get over here. And get some more wood to get down here. And frankly, I think I'm going to have to pillar my way up to get it to the rest of this tree. it does seem to go up a bit and yeah, it's out of reach all right we can do something about that oh wow okay that's not as bad as it could have been hello Apple and we got another tree all right so this is working out pretty good and we've got we got some flowers here I'm gonna need one more mystic white flower man I'm worried now I mean I gotta get I gotta get let's see I gotta get my uh, seeds from the grass I should probably put down more yeah yeah you know I'm gonna oh that's so much easier than breaking it by hand how much have I got I've got 11 all right 
Okay, the right click that automatically uh, puts down whatever is to the right of your pickaxe. Uh, whatever mod that is does not seem to exist here. Am I putting things into the void? No, I'm not. Okay, well, hopefully we will get some grass happening there soon. And since night has fallen, I'm going to come on over here. And let's get a little bit... Oh, that didn't work out as good as I wanted it to. Um, yeah, for now, for now. Okay, get some charcoal happening. Yeah. Okay, so... The thing I'm worried about is because I made all these extra saplings, and boy, I tell you, I guess making extra saplings in this kind of a setup is kind of like, you know, it's like throwing a picnic. If you make extra saplings, you don't need them. The first tree you get is huge. And the only way to keep from having ants on a picnic is to be sure you brought some along. No, it don't work. Don't even try it. But yeah, I'm I'm a little worried because I need to get some seeds. Can't make botania flowers without seeds. And uh, I don't have that much uh, the flower stuff left. And I don't have any kind of real bone meal, so I can't make more of the fertilizing stuff. Okay, so this is starting to spread a little bit. How is our good? That's looking good. That'll get us eight. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a stencil table. There we go. I'm gonna make a. How do you make a hoe? Oh yeah, it's Tinker's construct. I gotta make a um, gotta make a mattock. So. Let's see here. We need that. I need that. I need that. Um, let's see. Okay. One shovel head. Oh, that's weird. One axe head. Um, all right, I'm going to need... Do I need a binding thing for a matic? No, I don't. How weird is that? The more complex it gets, the less binding you need. I don't know how this works. How are we doing here? We got five of them. Let's take one of those and let's make us... Eh, I'll just make four things. Torches for now. And let's put you there. There there. Oh, hi there. Y'all need a sapling, don't you? Okay, and down here, before we start getting... Oh, let's pick that up. Before we start getting 16 dozen kinds of mobs and stuff forming up and waiting to push us off the edge when we come down to check what's in the basement. Um, okay. Alright, I think that takes care of that pretty well. So, oh right, I was making a, uh, a, uh, matic. That's right. Oh, still got to turn it into a tool rod. Two sticks equals one tool rod. Oh, you're bleeding me dry, Tycon. You're bleeding me dry. Okay, there we go. So we've got our matic. And, uh, you know... I might regret this, but I'm going to go ahead. Have I got any more dirt here? Nope. That's all the dirt there is. It's not all green and grassy, but let's do this. Hey, seeds. Okay, now I'm less scared. All right. Any more seeds? No more seeds. All right. I've got eight. Eight thingamies here. So, if worse comes to worse, I can grow more seeds. Well, no, because you don't always get seeds back. Let's try one more. There, two seeds. Good. 
three seeds. Okay, feeling safer now. Feeling safer now. And uh, Azure Bluette, just in case I feel the need of one. All right, so since that's taken care of, let's see if I can get another white flower to start with, because that's really, that's the last thing that can really, ma there's a white flower, hot dog. Okay, all right, so we got, all right, we got our two white flowers, and we've got seeds, and I'm going to plant those. Because I want more seeds before I start using those up in Petal Poth Carry. And how does our, you know, that's pretty weak looking. But I have, I have more living root. So once I've got the seed production line going, as it were, I will uh, make some more flowers. Okay, so that's about a half hour. And that's not a bad start for Garden Glass. So I will see all y'all next time. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you kindly. If you are new, I appreciate you joining me. If you are one of my old fans and watchers who is going, Oh my goodness, the cake isn't stale. Well, hey, welcome back. Good to see you. Tell your mom, cake's good for you. <laughs>